everyone, it's Lady Maylene and today we're gonna take a look at my anime collection. As you can kind of see, here it is all over the place. I put it right next to me. So this is just gonna be my anime DVDs. I am not going to show you guys my VHSs because they're kind of old. But I did collect anime in VHS. I had like Sailor Moon and like Yu Hawk Show, Pokemon, obviously, all those things and but I'm just going to show you guys my anime DVDs for now. Um, I don't buy anime DVDs anymore. It's probably in the last like three years I've bought maybe three volumes. I don't buy them anymore because I have Netflix, I have Hulu, um, there's Crunchyroll, and I can just watch it when I want, wherever I'm at, so I don't really need like want to pay like $25 for like three episodes when it's on Hulu, and I can just watch it there for a lot cheaper. So this is kind of my collection that I had when like back when uh, you kind of had to buy anime to watch it. So this is what I did. That's why I have many volumes and I paid so much for them. Ah. But anyways, yeah, I am going to show you guys this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite anime is. I would love to watch it if I haven't already. Thanks so much. Bye guys. Oh yeah, and guys, remember my camera doesn't focus if you guys have been watching me for a while. So I'm so sorry if the DVDs are blurry or something. I'm going to try my very, very, very best to make them look good. Hopefully you cross your fingers. So I still hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back. I actually had to put on my glasses because my contacts are really bothering me. So just pretend I don't have them on. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the very first anime DVDs that I ever bought. And I was obsessed with them. And these are these two Inuyasha volumes. So I pretty much know the words to every episode in these because I watched it so much. It was like my favorite, you know, used to be my favorite anime ever and I was obsessed with them and these were my very first anime DVDs. And since I already have them, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the Inuyasha. So very quickly, here are some random volumes. I watched the whole series many, 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 many times. I used to be obsessed with it. But here are just some of the volumes I had. Uh, just really quick because they're a lot and I don't want this video to be way, way, way too long. There's these two. Here are a couple more. I did have a lot. And a couple more. And I believe the very last one is this Inuyasha um, Season 4 box set, which has obviously all of Season 4. And I used to pay $25 for each of these. That is so much. Thank God for like Netflix now that you can just watch the whole thing for a lot less. Oh my god, you guys, I thought that was it. I found more. Here's more, more, more. Like I said, I have a lot of Inuyasha. More volumes, more volumes, more volumes. Here's this one. Ah, this one's stuck. Bunch of volumes. And I also do have like the very last one. I don't have the final act though, but. And then I have the four movies, which are beautiful. They're kind of shiny. Woo, fancy. I'm sorry if I keep taking my glasses on and off. Just pretend it never happened. I'm really sorry, guys. I was going to show you guys my next DVD that I got like ever which was Hamtaro but I can't find it in this big old pile so while I find it I'm gonna show you guys the box sets I have so one of them is Fruits Basket and this was a very very old like one of the very first box sets I've ever had and it's such a cute show I'm sure you guys all know what this is this is extremely popular then I have a Gravitation which is a Shonen Ai Yaoi thing of course <laughs> and I'm sure like all you Yaoi fangirls know what this is but it is I think it's really good like because Side. If you don't like Yaoi, maybe you shouldn't watch it, but I think it's hilarious. I think it's really funny and I think it's worth the watch. But anyways, here I have Diamond Daydreams. This is an anime that I haven't really heard anybody talk about ever. I think it's really good. It's pretty short, but um, oh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm sorry, but um, it's really cute. It's about like six girls and each of them have like a specific story, but each story is just really good. Like there's one who is in a hospital who, who is famous online and nobody knows she like can't walk and uh, some other things like that, but it's it's really good. And then we have Peach Girl and this was only $10. I got it in a sale from Right Stuff and this one is like dish. And of course, Peach Girl. Oh my god, it's so good. I love Peach Girl. It's pretty much like a soap opera, like an anime soap opera. It's like so much drama, it's so much crazy, there's a lot of romance, but I love it. And then we have the Goku Sen, which is a very funny, like, high school story about a teacher. And, like, all the students are kind of ugly, except for just this one redhead, and everybody else is kind of funky looking. <laughs> I think it's, it's really funny. I would recommend it. 
everything is just all over the place. I can't find everything. So I'm just gonna do it in a random order. But here's some more box sets. Here is only got my melody, which is this is just like a Chinese like eBay copy because I have no idea where I would get the actual one, but I love it, you guys know I love my melody and she does have an anime if you guys didn't know and um, it's so cute. I really 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 like it and she's adorable and ooh, it's so cute. I absolutely adore it. It's one of my favorite series. It's just adorable. And here we have Loveless. Yes, it is another <laughs> yaoi, but this series, if you guys haven't watched it here, you probably can't see this, but I'm gonna attempt to show you the picture. But this series is very very dark. Like it is very like depressing <laughs> it really is like if you guys um like kind of like mystery dark like it, it is it's like messed up <laughs> like apart from the yaoi which you guys might or might not like but i think it's a really good story they never finished it so oh that's really annoying but it's really dark and like oh it's it's pretty it's a pretty messed up story <laughs> Then we have Orin High School Host Club Volume 1, which is a season one, not volume one, but it has two in here. And oh my god, oh my god, I used to be crazy obsessed. Like when it just came out, I used to be obsessed. I would watch like the same episode more than once until the next episode came out. And then right when this came out, I went and I bought it. I don't have the other one because I just seen it so many times. I don't know why <laughs> I needed to buy it because I could just watch it on Hulu, but I didn't have Hulu back then. But anyways, this is so good. I I think it's one, honestly, one of the best animes I've ever seen in my life. It's not for everyone, but I just think it's so cute. Oh, I love you. And here we have the box set with many, 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 many DVDs of Kale Kaleido Star. I don't want to mess that up. Kind of messed that up. But here I have many with beautiful pictures. I wish I had a camera that could focus. I'm sorry, guys. But oh my god, this series is so good. It's like about a circus, about a girl who wants to join a circus, which is amazing. They have amazing performances and like they jump and they're beautiful and they're so beautiful and she like wants to join and it's just really good. Like th this gets me inspired to do something, like not just sit and watch anime. I want to like go out and like join the circus. <laughs> It's just good, but anyways, this is, there is the second season, which is New Wings, which is also really good. I keep showing you guys backwards, but some of the pictures that you can kind of hopefully see, it is really good. I love this this series so much. It's and I have the fourth season of Yu Yu Hakusho because I just randomly found this at Walmart and it was ten dollars and I was like, that's cheap. But I I already watched the whole thing while it was on TV, but I just wanted to have this because it was cheap. Okay guys, I found the Hamtaro one, so I have these two volumes, where which was the, I think it was like the third and fourth anime DVD I've ever had, and I would watch this so much, my mom got sick of it. <laughs> she was like, no, not Hamtaro again, because she kept hearing the, the song, the theme song, but I love them, I love Hamtaro, I'm sure you guys know what Hamtaro is already, it's pretty popular. Next we have Hell Girl, this is a complete first season, Hell Girl is definitely a very, like, mystery kind of horror kind of thingy um it's just like that i love it if you guys know it's about a website if you want somebody to die you go on this website and blah 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 blah, blah. you guys gotta watch it yourself it's really good i love it then we have the complete series of Pony Pony Dash, which is just a uh, funny, it kind of reminds me of Azumanga Daio, which is more popular than this, but it's just like school, and then there's this girl who is, I forgot how old she is. Okay, I just had to really read it really quick. Her age is 11. She's 11 years old, and she's a new teacher of a 10th grade class, so it's really funny. And she's so cute! And then season one and season two of Korocha, which is, oh my god, I love it so much. It's so good. It's like, you would assume this is like a happy, cutesy show, but there are some dark and like depressing things in this show. But at, most of the time, it's just really funny. It's about uh, a girl who is a child actress, but she also goes to school. And then there's this really sad kid. And <laughs> it's really funny, but at the same time, it gets serious at some points, And it's just, it's really good. I think I said all of them were really good. Uh, yeah. So anyways, I have the first season of Hitalia. I'm sure everybody, like, ever knows what Hitalia is, even if you don't like anime, but I think it's really good. I know it's really hated because of the, like, of the fandom and stuff, but I, I don't know. I think it's hilarious. Here's, uh, Romeo X Juliet, the whole thing, and it was only four dollars at, like, this random used store, which is awesome. And then it's the whole thing. Woo! 
that's just gonna be whatever I grab but this is bottled fairy which is another just cutesy like whatever kind of thing it's only 13 episodes so this is a whole thing it's just cutesy it's like some little fairy girls just trying to like learn about the world and they're really cute and they're funny and like blah, blah, blah. before I go any further I have to show you one of my all-time favorite series ever and this series actually means a lot to me which is full moon no segashite oh my god i only own one two well here you'll just see them i've watched the whole series more than once but these were 25 dollars each and those are, that's a lot of money so this is the only ones i currently have but it's okay because i already watched it a bunch of times anyways but i absolutely adore this series so much when i bought this just first ep like first volume i watched it like 40 50 times so much i love it i don't know if you guys seen it it's about a little girl who loves to sing her dream is to become a famous singer but she has throat cancer so she has to have an operation so they can uh take her whatever out but she could lose her voice and she doesn't want to do it and she she learns she might die and all, all these bunch of things and she's trying to become a star oh i don't want to spoil anything but it's so good especially i really 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 love this series because one of my favorite things in the world is to sing it's like one of my biggest passions i love it it's like what makes me happy and i can kind of connect with mitsuki a lot which is kind of weird which i can connect with her a lot like a lot but she's like my least favorite character of the series like, that doesn't mean i don't love her i do absolutely adore her character but oh watch this series if you can it's so sad but it's so beautiful and the songs oh the songs sorry i'm gonna go crazy i'm gonna stop now and definitely another of my all-time favorite series is candy candy and as you can see these are kind of like cheap because i don't even know if these ever were released these are from mexico they were uh, this was never dubbed in english this was dubbed in spanish and it was really popular in mexico at least from what i know and and this is such a good series it's one of my favorites as you can see it's a very old very very old but it's about a girl named Candy who was an orphan and like her adventures and but her adventures oh my god it's crazy she goes through a lot and I love her oh my god I love Candy but yeah you should guys should totally watch it it's a very long series so it's over 100 episodes I will show you now my studio Ghibli so I don't know if this is everything or if I'm missing one I'll show you guys later but my favorite Kiki delivery service is my favorite it, I used to have it in VHS and watch it so much so 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 much all the time that actually my mom I was so obsessed with like wanting to fly that my mom would hide like anything that had to do with flying especially this movie because she thought I was gonna jump off a tree or something she wouldn't let me watch it because she didn't want me to jump off a tree and I would cry but I love this movie so much and the ending song in English is one of my all-time favorite songs like my in my top 10 favorite songs ever and here I have Ponyo, which I absolutely adore. Ponyo, 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 so cute. And my Never Told Toro didn't come with a slip. I'm really sad. But it's, I'm sure you guys know all these movies these are really popular. The, the Cat's Return is one of the less popular ones, actually. And I think it's fantastic. I think it's as good as, like, my Never Told Toro or stuff like that. Oh, you know what? I'm missing Spirit Away. Let me find that. Another one of my favorites, which is actually my favorite manga in the world, it's Pet Shot of Horrors. It was only made into a four or is it a three? No, four episode anime, which is just four chapters of the manga, which I hate because it's so good. It's definitely a very horror, mystery, kind of creepy thing. Oh my god, I love it. I've watched this so, 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 so many times. I can't even tell you. It's just really good. It's very... Like, I don't want to give anything away, I just really like the episodes. It's obviously about a, a pet shop, a guy who owns a pet shop, he has strange animals. When you go get, like, somebody went to go get a rabbit, and they always have to sign a contract, like a very specific contract. It would say, like, the rabbit said, like, uh, only feed her water, only feed her fresh vegetables, and never let anyone see her, and you have to sign it if you break any of the rules. There will be consequences, so I totally recommend you watching this. It's only four episodes, but I more recommend you reading it because it's like a very long manga and a four episode series. No oh, good. Another one of my favorites. I'm just gonna keep saying that. I'm gonna try to go fast with this because this video is gonna be very long, but another one of my favorites. The Wallflower, which I love. So now is one of my favorite characters. It's really, really, really good. It's actually pretty popular. So you guys might have heard of it. Anyways, we're gonna go with Air, the complete series. Oh god, this series. I cried so much. It's by Key, which made Kalana. If you guys have been seen this, it's pretty similar. It's like a beautiful, sad story. Absolutely recommend it. Then we have Digimon the movie. It's just something I had for a very long time. And dream on the movie uh, Lady Death is something I got in a blind bag kind of thing I actually watched it and it was pretty darn good and it was cheap so yeah and look how shiny it is 
rumbling hearts, rumbling hearts. Oh my god, this is another super duper duper crazy drama, like super soap opera, like guys cheating and girls cheating and these all these crazy car accidents and I don't know, like there's just like things happen and like people are in the hospital and <laughs> there's like oh god and. It's really good. It's just really good. Like, it's very dramatic. And so, if you guys don't want to watch something like that, I wouldn't recommend it. But I like it. And then this is Mez. I don't know, actually. I got this in a blind box, too. And um, I watched it three episodes. I don't remember anything about it. So, there's that. Yay! Then I have Pokemon. You guys, if you guys haven't seen Pokemon, it's about this guy named Ash and his Pikachu. I'm just kidding. But this is uh, season one and season one. <laughs> yes, it's uh, episodes one through 79 of the Indigo League. Woo! So here it is. And I've watched Pokemon like a thousand bajillion thousand times. I absolutely adore Pokemon. If you guys didn't see my addicted to Pokemon video. <laughs> Yeah, so there's that. Okay, come on, guys, let's finish this. I have two um, volumes of Bleach. It's number two and number seven. Um, I'm, my mom got these for me because she just likes buying me random anime that she doesn't even know what it is, but um, I've never got past episode like 20 of Bleach. I, maybe it wasn't my thing, but I could go back because I watched like episodes one through 15 of Fairy Tale and it wasn't my thing. And I went back to it and it's one of my all time favorite animes ever, so I would, I would give it another chance. So I'll totally do that. Anyways, I have Princess Princess volume one in volume two there's only three volumes it's very short it's, I don't know if you guys have heard of this it's kind of, it's not really yaoi but it is about uh, all guys schools a school with all guys I'm sorry <laughs> and uh, three guys just dress up as girls because there's no girls there but they're really cute I really 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 like the art they do dress in like Lolita ish kind of clothes which I love they look really pretty with their fluffy dresses and it's really funny I think it's funny so there's that, and then two more DVDs that my mom got me. She actually got these from the 99 cent store, and it's Brigadon. Um, it doesn't really look like something I've been, I'd have been, i be interested in. I have not watched it. I don't even know if this is, like, volume one or volume two or anything. So, I do still have those. And then, ooh, School Rumble. I love it. It's um, volume one and volume, volume two. I'm trying to talk way too fast, and I'm just messing up. I did watch the rest on Netflix. It was just on there, and um, I love it. It's so funny. I love, 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 love. I know Harima is one of my favorite like male characters ever and it's a very good series. And this random volume of Harigu, it's kind of like nothing. I don't know how to explain this. It's just about some kids who live in a forest and they're just weird and do like all the weird stuff. This is like my childhood, you guys know I love Card Capture Sakura and it is the first movie and the second movie. I believe that's what it is, yes. And yeah, oh my god, I love this series. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's one of the most popular ones. But really quick, I do have the Sakura uh, Volume 1 in Spanish. I did watch this series in Spanish before I ever actually I never watched it in English. I watched like two episodes and I was like, ah, oh, this, this is horrible. <laughs> so I just watched it in Japanese again. But I watched the entire thing in Mexico. Oh my god, I love it. I love, 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 love the Spanish dub. I think it's really good. And they did not change anything from it. Like the English dub, they changed names, they changed like relationships relationships that were like uh, like Yukito and Toya and like Tomoyo and Sakura and they did not change that in the Spanish version and it was also in a kids network so I guess they didn't care <laughs> and I did find Spirit Away and obviously this is one of the most popular movies like ever so I'm sure you guys know this then I have a couple of volumes of Witch Hunter Robin which used to be on Adult Swim I believe I watched the whole thing on there but I did just buy random volumes because I just really like the series it's like witchcrafty I'm sure you guys know it it was on TV and another one that was on TV that I oh my god I love this one was is I don't know if it's Ed Scry Ed. I'm pretty sure it's Scryed. Is that what it is? And it used to be on TV, and I loved it. Oh my god, it's really good. Like each character has a different power. I love knowing what their power is. Some of them don't show it until like later on. Some of them, I just think it's really cool. It's kind of like a fighty kind of thingy, but I think it's really, really, really good. But yeah, yeah, there you go. Random volumes of Saber Marionette. Uh, it's just. Random volume of Sarah Marionettes. <laughs> but yeah, I used to have actually the VHSs of these, but um, yeah. So that's that. It's it's okay. It's not definitely nowhere near my favorites, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> then I have a couple of Trinity, Trinity Blood. I also watch this on Adult Slim. And look how beautiful the art is. I'm sorry if this is extremely, 
extremely unfocused, but oh my god, it's so pretty. It's a really good vampire uh, series. I don't know, it was an adult swim, so I'll, probably you guys have seen it or know about it. I'm trying to find the volumes, they're everywhere. Oh, but here I have. Oh, come here. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I am sure everybody has heard of Full Metal Alchemist. I just have a couple of volumes. La, 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 la. These were also like $25 when I bought them. And The Conqueror of Shambhala, the movie. And I'm sure everybody knows Full Metal Alchemist. It's actually it'd be really weird if you watched anime and you never heard of Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Anyways, I have like Neon Genesis of Evangelion, just random volume. It used to be on TV. I watched the whole thing on TV, but it's been a long time. Um, I found another Saber Marionettes thing, so here's that. And then uh, this isn't really anime, but it's Puppy Yummy Yumi that used to be on TV. I don't. I don't even think this is considered anime, but it was there, so <laughs> yeah, and this is Galaxy Angels, which is very, very, very cute. It's just a nonsense kind of thing. They just have little adventures that are cute or weird stuff. I put them in a little bit better order so I can show you guys. I have this random just uh, Naruto DVDs. Oh my god, this is not. <laughs> just have these random ones, and this is my favorite because I love Haku. I miss you, Haku. And then I have the third box set, which is just very shiny. Ooh, it's cool. And I have a couple of, of volumes of Chobits, which I don't know if you can see the art. It's so beautiful. I already did watch this all. Actually, pretty much everything I own, I already watched it all. But I only just own a couple of them because I would watch it um, different places. And then, obviously, Death Note. Everybody knows Death Note. I Yeah, I'm sh you guys know what it is. If you guys don't know what it is, it's really weird. <laughs> It's like ridiculously popular. And then I have uh, four volumes of IGPX that used to be on TV. I really like this. It's about like robots, but it's like they race. But I don't know. I just really like it. I don't really like like mecha or anything with robots, but I thought this one was pretty good. Then this is Infinite Re... I can't say this. I actually never really got to watch this because I don't have the volumes correctly. <laughs> So they're just random volumes, hopefully one day I'll get them. And then I have this one, which is Mars Daybreak, which I have the same problem, none of them are the right volumes, I just bought the ones I found, so it's just random volumes here. Then I have, oh, I one of Elrica 7, I loved this series when I was on, I think, Adult Swim, and I just got this random one, but it was, oh, I love it, it's such a good series. One of a Vampire Night. I, I keep saying I watch this. I, I already just told you guys. I already watch like every everything. I just have random volume. <laughs> and here is Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah! I really like Mai. She's my favorite character. And it's just random. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! I thought I had more of this, but Shuffle. I have just this random volume. But oh, it's so good. I, I actually never got to watch this specific DVD since I watched it on Netflix. But it's really good. I love it. I, it's not what I expected at all. And then this other ones that kind of have to do with Tenchi or Tenchi Muyo. There's just this random one. I used to have a couple of VHSs of this. Then I have the spin-off, which is Magical Project S, which is with Sasami. And this is cute. It's so shiny. I really like it. And then I have the GPX one, just two random volumes. And then <laughs> I also have this one. They really do like Sasami, which is Sasami Magical Girls Club Volume 1 and 2. I think this is the whole series, but yeah. It's very, very, very cute. She's adorable. Of course, a classic Sailor Moon. I had a ton of VHSs of Sailor Moon. But here are a couple of the DVDs I have. This, 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 this. Oh, this is the movie. I had all the movies on VHS I would watch. I'm like crazy. But these are just the only DVDs I currently have. But that's fine. And then another series I was completely obsessed with, which is Beyblade, which is really random. Please tell me I wasn't the only kid obsessed with Beyblade. Oh, there we go. But yeah, when I, it was on like, uh, I don't remember what it's called. I'll, I'll post it here if you guys remember. But oh my god, I love Beyblade. It was like, I was obsessed with it. Oh, and I just have a bunch of random volumes. Ooh. And then some of the Pokemon movies. Uh, I have pretty much all of them. I have a couple of them on a VHS too. And then I have just this, um, Johto League, which just has random episodes. Then I have a couple of them. Actually, I have pretty much all of them. I do have this one twice because it just came in a pack. And then this one has two movies. And I do have all of them, but I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I'll show you guys if I find them. If I don't, I'm sorry. I know I'm going to be missing a couple of things. Ooh, they're all falling. But I just can't find them right now. And movies. I 
just have random volumes. So, so, so pretty. Watched it on Netflix. Oh. Then I have these two case clothes. I used to watch this on TV all the time, but now it's like one billion thousand episodes, and I don't know how I'm supposed to catch up. And then Angel Tells Us was a pretty cute series. If you guys haven't watched it, each character is actually a girl. I mean, this guy had a lot of pets, and they would all die, and then they ended up being turned into angels, and they turn into girls. It like tells you in the first episode. It's not a spoiler. I think but each of them is like a different animal like this she's a bird she's a hamster I think she, no wait she was a bird she was a goldfish and like a rabbit and a dog and a cat and yeah it's okay I don't, I'm not like a big fan but I love the whole like animal thingy and like each of them has like qualities of their animal and they're terrified of the way they die like the wait no spoiler spoiler never mind <laughs> then I only have two um Volumes of Code Geass, but yeah, like I said, I watched it already. Watch uh, dot hack sign, I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah. So just these two items used to be on TV too, and then this is the uh, dot hack Legend of the Twilight. I love this one. This was my favorite, and apparently this is everybody's least favorite. I don't know why. I thought it was adorable. I think they're really cute. And then there's Sakura Wars. Just one random volume. Uh, and then I just have this because it's like in my pile and I do have all the Avatar The Last Bender, but it's not an anime, but I don't know why some people consider it an anime. I definitely, it's not an anime, it's made by like American artists, but I think it's similar and I just really like it and I just put it, it because it's a box set and I just put it with the box sets, but I do have the rest over there. It's so good, it's one of my favorite cartoons ever, it's so good. And uh, this is also, it was on there, but it's uh, Koldi Oko. It's kind of anime-ish, but it's not anime. Then just a random volume of Yu Yu Hakusho. Such a good series. And then all of these are just like random volumes that I have. Uh, some random Gundam Seed. And then I have Sayuki Reload. Oh, you guys can probably not even see this picture. Oh, here, there's another one. Uh, dot hack sign. And then this is Steve Boy. I actually never had a chance to watch this. I heard it was really good. And I have it. And then there's Ray of Master. And it has Plu in the bag, if you guys can see, which is, of course, the same people who made Fairy Tale. And the art is very, very similar. And I gotta watch this again. I actually haven't watched this in a long time. This is uh, Banner of the Stars 2. I have no clue. I have never watched this. I, just, I didn't even remember I had this. Samurai 7. I used to watch this on TV. Um, Satchmel, yes, I love Satchmel. I got this volume because I love what Sherry and Brago, I think that was their name, <laughs> their names. But I'm actually rewatching this because I never got to finish it on TV and I want to know what happened. And I'm in the episode like 60 or something, it's actually pretty long, maybe it was 50, I don't remember. But, anyways, this is Comic Party, it was an okay series. Um, yeah. Um, this is Boys Over Flower. I really want to watch this, but this is just random volume, so I definitely get, have to finish that. Oh yeah, yeah, I found another Bleach DVD. And then, <laughs> everybody's favorite. I love this series. I think it's so stupid that it's funny. Everybody hates on it, but I think it's hilarious. Like, it's just weird. He fights with this mustache for you guys. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. He has like people living inside his afro and his best friend is a, like a sun and then the other one's a jello. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. Then Scrap Princess, it was a pretty good series. I haven't watched in a while, but yeah. I do have this, uh, the wallflower, but I do also have the box set as, a, uh, not box set, like the complete series like I showed you guys. This is Samurai Champloo. Oh, I love this series when it was on TV. I used to watch it all the time. And then this is, I don't know, Cirrus? Celestial Legend, I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but I found it in a yard sale for a dollar. So it's like, yeah, right now. This is Final Fantasy Unlimited. I heard this was terrible, that's why I have not watched it yet. I looked it up and the ratings were terrible, and they were like, oh, this movie's horrible. So I'm really scared to watch this movie. <laughs> oh, I found another Galaxy Angels. Da, 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 da. And the very last one is Salty Ray, which is, oh, it is actually Volume 1. I actually haven't watched this. I don't remember even having this. <laughs> So yay guys, we made it through all my anime DVDs, so I really hope you guys enjoy this. I do, I love watching anime, it's like one of my favorite things in the world, I'm sure you guys already know this. If you guys want to follow me on my anime list where I post all the anime I watch, or you guys want to see what I'm watching or what I'm doing, you can go ahead and add me on there, I'll link it, I'll have my Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever else down below, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know what your favorite anime is or what I should watch, uh, there's like a lot of things I would love to watch. There's so many things, so much anime, not enough time. So thanks so much guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Bye 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 bye!